So now we went from being on par with countries like France in the European Union, North of Third European countries. They have a life expectancy around 83 years. We have slipped to 76 years. It's a huge gap, by the way. Yeah. This is like aggregate data nerd stuff. Yeah. But the fact that we have so many discrepancies in our expected lifespan and our health rates and our health care, Americans are not living as long. Well, we are just really showing out in not the greatest ways. Sure. Globally. Okay. And that's what Chantal and I were just talking the other night. And what worries me, especially with all this going on, we laugh about the fact that Donald Trump is being indicted. But the fact is, is a former United States president is being indicted. We had the closest thing we've ever come since independence to an insurrection. Yeah. Right? And we did and a not lot have of a it, peaceful transfer And a of lot power. of it is just for stunting and just pulling these entertainment moves. And I said that, I said after Obama and then after Trump, we will never see a normal run of, cause I feel like it wasn't always this wild. Like, no, it wasn't. It was so boring. It but, was so boring. That's the thing. But now I mean, it's I become, love but now it's become just this entertainment hub and people are really pulling stunts. I've tagged Sarah in this video where I guess they had this man, Anita Dick. Oh, oh yeah, that was in the Florida I mean, legislature. I had to laugh. At I needed. That. It was funny, but it's like, man, yeah, it, what's going on? People are really pulling stunts for this internet, for Beyonce's internet that we are <laughs> blessed to have. Beyonce, all <laughs> yeah. hail the queen. But the thing about it is, though, is it is entertainment, but at the same time, it's like a temperature gauge gauge on our democracy. And Ooh. that's what's scary is a lot of people take for granted and have this idea of American exceptionalism. Wow. And they think that this democracy is permanent and it's not. A I democracy is only as healthy as you that. care for. Wow. And yeah. it, it, this is all signs that we are not doing great. And everybody across the globe knows that except for most of us. Wow. Yeah, and I think you're, you're right about that. Because we take it for granted. We take our freedoms and our liberties for granted and the way we're able to go about things. And we see it with the with the abortion ban. We see it with the book ban. We never appreciated mm -hmm. books this much until somebody tries to come in and say, hey, you can't, we're not going to teach this in public schools. This right. information is not relevant. It's not, we don't even, the narrative that is making white kids feel bad. And now it's, wow, we got to treat these things as if they are precious because when they're taken from us, and like you said, it can so easily be taken from us. We have to be more engaged and more in tune. And that's why we're here. That's why yeah, we're right. all here trying to learn. Right. But I really do want to put more emphasis on what a person can do, what the average person can do. Besides just being plugged in and being aware of these issues. You always see people say, oh, call and write your representative. First of all, I don't know how many people do that. I don't know how effective it is. Maybe it is. I don't know. And it's, but it's, what can we do? You can do that. But see, so the component about writing and calling your representative is all about numbers, right? So that's why these campaigns where it's, I'm against XYZ bill, because most of the offices, when they're dealing with constituents, they're not taking your name, they're taking your information to send you a form letter mm -hmm. and they're basically tallying how many people are upset about something. About so an issue, if right. there's a whole bunch of people, maybe, but we're also in an era where there are people who are in elected positions who don't care what their constituents right. want yeah. and are voting in a way that is suits their political needs. And I actually think that right here in Southwest Florida, having Jennifer Persons Malika, who might actually come in here, we'll see her offices down the road. That would um, be awesome to have another well, she guest. Actually in, in Tallahassee, but anyway, so she yeah. sponsored, she's one of the co-sponsors mm -hmm. of the four, six week abortion ban. However, we see across the state and even in this area, there's a, a, a majority of people in Florida who are against it, or against the six week abortion ban, who want access to So she's not even abortion. listening to the constituents. No, because no. she's, it, this is an issue, and there's a governing philosophy that different representatives have. Some right. people are grassroots, they want to hear what people are saying, they feel like they have to honor what their constituents and want. Some people are authoritarian, and some and, people are listening to whoever is right. funding them. Yeah. And the thing about it is, and this is, it's like a domino effect, like all these, or even a puzzle, all these things have to be put together for things to work the way that they're supposed to work so that our voices are heard. 
And in Florida right now, the reason why it's difficult to even say, oh, call your senator, call your representative is because they have a super majority. If the minority feels a certain way, they don't care. They don't need to. Right. And yeah. the problem with that is, and the reason why that's able to happen is because of things like gerrymandering. Just going to say, where maps, maps are set up, congressional maps, state congressional maps, they're set up in such a way that these people have safe districts. They right. know that they can win because they don't need your vote. They don't need my vote because they draw up. And you should see our map right now. Like, when Lee County, we have, what, three different representatives just for Lee. The way it's split up is ridiculous, but it makes safe districts so that they don't need to appease the minority constituents. They don't even need to come around. They nope. don't need to right. show up. Back and pack. So these are the things that people need to be knowledgeable about right. is the fact that the game isn't set up fair. So, it's not fair. So we, our voices aren't being heard because we're playing in a rigged game in right. this state right now.